Hello friends, welcome to the Tech Grant. Today we are going to talk about another rate limit implementation and this will be using token bucket. So this is a continuation of the implementation that we did in the last session. The last one, when we created the rate limiter, we used leaky bucket. So now we are going to use token bucket. So let's jump into the code directly and see how we can implement token, token bucket. So before starting with the token bucket, let us look what we did in the leaky bucket. So in case of leaky bucket, we had this uh, interface, which was a rate limiter and we had a method there, which was used to grant access. Now, when we created the leaky bucket class, so there we used the blocking queue, which was linked, li linked blocking queue in our case. And uh, based on the capacity of the queue, we used to take decision whether we want to grant access or not. Now, similar kind of thing we will do for token bucket. The variation in case of token bucket will be uh, in case of token bucket, we have a bucket which has certain amount of token, which means it has some capacity and uh, it has a refresh rate. So after say a bucket has a capacity of 10 and after every second we refill that bucket with 10. So in a matter of one second, 10 requests can be served and if in between some request has come or if the refresh rate is 10, then in half second we will fill half of the bucket. It can be like pro rata basis. So that is the difference between the token bucket concept and the leaky bucket concept. So let us implement the token bucket. So this will implement our rate limiter. And since it takes rate limiter, we'll override the grant access method. Now, what we need to do here is we need the bucket capacity. So we'll have, let's make it private int bucket capacity and then we will have private int and uh, we need a refresh rate a refresh rate and then we need some variable which will give us uh, the current capacity i mean what is the current count that is present in the bucket or how many more tokens can be taken currently now since this variable which is the current capacity bucket will be changing over a period of time and we want to create an application which is thread safe so what we are going to do is we will make this particular uh, this particular variable which will be the current capacity as atomic so we'll make it atomic integer and we'll call it current capacity And finally, we need another atomic variable, which will be the last updated time. So let's make it atomic long and it will be last updated time. So this tells us when the bucket was updated last. Okay, we'll create a constructor for this and the constructor will contain bucket capacity and the refresh rate. So we need to get this from the user when we create the bucket for each of the user. And once we have this, so we need to set the current capacity and we need to set the last updated time. So current capacity can be set as which will be get and set and this will be same as the bucket capacity that we have currently. And last updated time we will get and set as system dot current time in millis. So that will be whenever this uh, token bucket was initialized. So at that particular time, the bucket was at its full capacity. Now, when we have to grant access, uh, what we need to do is we need to check if the current capacity dot get, not get and set, just get. If this is greater than zero, it means that our bucket has the capacity to fulfill the request. So in this particular case, we will decrement our um, uh, bucket or the current capacity and we can return true from here that okay we can serve this request now there is one more thing here the that thing is uh, we need to refresh this uh, bucket so every time we when we serve uh, this request before that we should refresh the bucket so that the current capacity is correctly maintained so uh, here we can write another method and we'll say refresh bucket 
I cannot think of the name currently so let's go with refresh bucket only and we'll create a method here which will be same as refresh bucket so what we are going to do in refresh bucket is uh, we need to get the current time so we'll have long current time which will be equal to system dot current time in milli now we need to check whether the uh, how many more tokens that we can add so we'll say additional token and this will be equal to uh, the current time that we have minus the last updated time so whatever is the difference in the time and in then this will be basically divided by thousand so that we convert it into second because the refresh rate that we have the refresh rate that we got here we are uh, assuming that this will be in seconds number of uh, tokens per second and so this will be multiplied by the refresh rate so this is what will give us the additional token now the difference here is uh, last updated time oh sorry this will this is atomic so we'll say this dot get and cast int so we'll cast int it into int okay and uh, once we have the additional token then we need to set what is the current token so current capacity so current capacity will be get and set and uh, the additional token or before this let us put it in a variable only and int will say cur capacity and what will be the current capacity it will be whatever we have the current capacity dot get plus the additional token that we have got now this value can go beyond the actual bucket size that we have and uh, we should not cross that capacity so it should if it is crossing that then we need to limit it to the whatever is the bucket capacity so we have the bucket capacity here so we'll take the minimum of these two so we'll add math dot min of these two So once we have the current capacity, so we'll update this variable current capacity dot get and set and we'll say current capacity. And finally, we need to set the last since we have updated the time now. So we need to update the last updated time. We'll say get and set and this will be same as current time. So this is how the token bucket will be implemented. Now next thing what we need to implement is uh, in case of leaky bucket also we implemented this user bucket creator so here also we will create a bucket for the user bucket creator and if you have any doubt in all these just check out the video on the leaky bucket one which i have created so it will be clear so for this i am not going to do much change i will just copy this from the leaky bucket one and i will paste it here i don't want to use in place of leaky bucket now we will have token bucket in case of map we'll import the map we'll import the hash map and here we'll have the token bucket so bucket capacity let's say it's 10 and we are refreshing it at a rate of 10 only so every second we are we are refreshing this bucket we are adding 10 more token so all these will remain same and finally we'll have the application class so application even this one will copy from here okay uh, this we don't want it from the leaky bucket this we don't want from the leaky bucket we just want the user bucket creator which is the local one so what we are doing here is we are creating the bucket for user id 1 and we want the executor to have 12 threads and uh, the bucket capacity is 10 so ideally it should process 10 requests and uh, basically ignore the two requests that we have and if it runs over a period of one second then it may be able to process everything let's run this and check
so it's compiling and it says null pointer error at line 17 so we are doing something wrong here okay so this was atomic okay okay sorry so this was never initialized basically so this will be atomic integer of bucket capacity my mistake it was a very silly mistake and same thing will happen for this one also for last updated time also this will be new atomic long and uh, this will be system dot current time in milli apologies for this let us run again okay so when it ran now so out of 12 requests if you see 10 are processed and 2 are uh, rejected saying too many requests so it seems that even this program is working fine so you can take this code from the github the link is there in the description of the video and if you have any doubt with the theory part you can check out the system design video of the rate limiter uh, the whole algorithm of token bucket is explained there with proper example here i have only done the implementation part so that's it for this particular video do like and subscribe and share with others